Welcome to another one of my math videos. Here we have another trick question, which I thought was a lot of fun. And it involves three friends staying in a hotel. Now the cost of the hotel is $30 per night. So if you divide this evenly, um, each of the friends needs to spend $10 per night to stay in this hotel. So they each pay the hotel $10 each, but immediately after they make the payment, the hotel realizes that they made a mistake and that they overcharge these three friends for the room. The room really cost $25 per night. So in order to make up for their mistake, the hotel decides to refund the three friends the $5 that they were overcharged. So the front desk tells the bellboy to give the $5 back to them. But while the bellboy is returning the money, he decides that $5 cannot be divided evenly between three people. So he decides to keep $2 for himself and to give $1 to each of the three friends. So now if we take the $10 they paid initially minus the $1 they were refunded, each of them paid $9 for the room. So if they all pay $9 each, that gives us a total of $27. If we add that with the $2 tip of the bellboy, 27 plus 2 is equal to $29. And the question for this brain teaser is, where is the missing dollar? We started with 30, and now we have 29. So take your time, pause the video, work on this problem if you need to, and I will show you the solution in 5 seconds. So where is the missing dollar? Well, obviously we know that the dollar is not missing. And this is a trick question more because of the way it is worded. And the simple solution to this is the tip is included in the cost of the room and should not be added afterwards. But let me show you what I mean by this. So we know the $30 total must be equal to the amount of money paid plus the amount of money returned. And the amount of money paid is any money that they did not get back. So that is equal to the $25 for the cost of the room plus the tip. They don't get the tip back, so that's money that they had to pay. So $25 for the room plus the $2 tip is equal to $27. Now if we add the $27 with the money that was returned to them, which is $3, 27 plus 3 gives us a total of 30 and we have found our missing dollar. So let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was too easy or too hard? I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.